How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode. Uh, if this is the first one watching, let me give you a little update. I am uh, a traveler. I'm normally cycling around the world on a recumbent trike from China all the way to the USA. I've lived in China for the last 10 years. Um, I have a Chinese family. I returned to Ningbo to help my wife move into a new apartment and then the outbreak happened. Uh, if you're watching this uh, at a weird time, this is recorded very close to the uh, coronavirus time. The coronavirus kind of came and we thought we'd sweat it out in Ningbo for a few days. We thought maybe we could stay in Ningbo for a while, but they started closing down flights, closing down airports. So we decided to fly to the USA and my family is in Detroit. So we flew to uh, Chicago. We're sitting in Chicago and we are quarantining for 14 days, which is what they say is enough time to uh, tell you if uh, you do have this kind of virus, if it comes out. So we're just gonna wait the 14 days out and uh, there's some interesting developments in Ningbo in China that uh, Annie is my wife and she's been uh, seeing a lot of updates on what's, oh, we have a lot of toys. Eva has a, uh, a princess tent and a dinosaur play set. And if you can hear the sound of, of dinosaur music playing, uh, she's watching her iPad right now. So that buys us a little bit of time. <laughs> she loves dinosaurs. Did you like dinosaurs when you were younger? No, you did. No, no, no I did. Dinosaurs is me, all me. But uh, so anyway, we're in an Airbnb and we're just sitting down, relaxing and sweating out the next two weeks. Uh, Annie is on uh, her phone all the time with home in China. And so she's getting all sorts of interesting information. And there was an interesting development yesterday. So I'd like to talk to you about that. Before we do that, how is, uh, how is the quarantine for you going? Okay. What are you feeling? Are you, are you missing home? Yeah, yeah. I miss a lot. Yeah. Miss more than uh, any trip I, yeah. I have made. Normally we came to USA for two weeks or maximum a month and then go back. So our um, time difference, um, jet lag. Jet lag, yeah. So we will normally one or two days, but this time we go very slow. Just like today <laughs> the fifth day. Eva, it's not us, it's Eva. Yeah. Eva, when we came here, it took her two days just to get off China time. Like there's normally like, okay, I'm a little tired, blah, blah, blah. But Eva was like sleeping 12 hours off the normal schedule, which yeah. was rough. Annie has family in Ningbo, uh, to a niece and a nephew, her dad and uh, her sister and her brother-in-law. How are they doing right now? They're stay at home, calm. And the rules in our city is more straight right well, now. Okay, when did that happen? Uh, midnight. I think it's midnight last night. Midnight. So is, uh, is Ningbo officially on... Are they on lockdown now? No. They're not officially quarantined yet. They're not like Wuhan. Or mm. how, would you, how would you like you level, to, you know? Well, there's a lot of news come out like... A, um, Ningbo City already blocked, but yeah. then you will see officially government then tell you this is not true. Mm. We just closed some like highway, like everybody came in have to sign up normally. You have to sign into the city? Yes. Through all the major roads because that go say, on? I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. And, you need uh, to know where people are going. From now on, every family can have one person come out to buy food stuff. Every two Every days. Two days, and the rest of them have to stay at home. So, if you had a family of five, you'd say, "Dad, this is what we want," and then you have to make sure to buy enough food for those two days. He can go out the next two days, but mm -hmm. no more. No more. To be honest, I agree with that. I think it's more tough. Control. You got to control the flow. The more, the quicker you can mm, finish this problem. Now you have uh, somewhat direct contact with the virus not contact like this but your family's factory has a worker that got the virus right no no so i who never say that so what happened no uh in our factory area which is west of nimbo uh like a week ago start this virus came and, in yeah because one old lady he went to a January 19th, she went to a temple, temple. to do a New Year, uh, New Year wish 
event every yeah. year. They have been go there for 14 years. And New Year's in China is full of yes, so all sorts of things. Most of them go there is old people. And uh, she got it, which is she's living in our factory area. Oh, factory area. Okay, yes, okay. No. But not from no, our. Oh, okay, no. okay. Sorry about that. I said that yeah. in the last one. Then she's local people, so most of. Uh, Local people won't think she gets the virus, and she have very. He, she obviously she didn't know. Then How did she get it? In the temple, she went to the temple. But somebody at the temple from Wuhan yes. was there. Maybe Wuhan, I don't know. Okay. Somebody from Wuhan probably be there. Yeah. And then she can. She didn't know that she has the virus, and she stay with family. Um, visit because at that moment it's not blocked in Wuhan yet. Hmm. In people in Ningbo still don't think it's a very serious problem. Hmm. And then his, her family, her sister family, everybody in touch with her has a lot of people. Got it. Got it. And also in that event, I think have more than mm, how many people? More than ten people or more hmm. got the virus. Old people. Yeah. Today I see another news just now pop out uh, in Ningbo Jiangbei. The guy has confirmed has this virus. He didn't touch anything. He didn't do anything. But he went to the food market. Okay, not food market to get that virus. One of the lady went to the temper event. Mm. Was next to each other with him for mm. like 15 seconds oh no which is so 15, maybe 15 seconds no maybe they were talking and uh, you know just uh. just but i mean this is yeah that's crazy um, that's that's very viral yeah this morning i had two news one one is this for 15 seconds he probably get maybe he has another way but officially they see from the camera yeah they kind of trace TV. trace back yes everybody is tracing back who in touch and they will contact with you mm. and another news i see is one 30 days newborn baby has the virus now they said uh, oh no they said uh, maybe it can be from mom to the kids so i i i mm. don't know this virus is so evil yeah and use different way to attack human yeah is the baby confirmed is that like a hundred percent true or is that just rumor because there's a lot of rumors going I around i think it's confirmed okay 30 day year old baby yeah the youngest but the mom has virus already yeah uh, you sent me a video yesterday of a guy being yelled at for not wearing a mask <laughs> What is the penalty if you're not wearing a mask? Yeah, and you're walking around. They can take you to the jail for yeah. a few days. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in this point, you cannot be like. Why? This. Why are you? But he said he couldn't buy one, right? He couldn't. No, he didn't say okay. that. I don't think so. If you, if the people who there tell you you don't have mask, you ask them, I don't have mask. Everybody will try to give you one. Yeah. Or you just don't go out. Yeah. Yeah. Most of people is older people. I don't know what happened with them. And uh, there's a joke recently. My sister shared it in the family group. People are telling their daughter, if your boyfriend's parents don't want to wear a mask at this point, don't marry them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, in China, it's very, very popular to play Mahjong. Mahjong is a game that a lot of old people, right? It's everybody, I guess, but, but like old people really like to play the game. I saw a lot of videos of, of people going and destroying their grandparents yeah, because they don't take serious. They yeah. think, nah. I'm just going to go play Mahjong. And they say, no, you're not. And they destroy the Mahjong table to try to make sure that they don't yeah, but, play together. But this is at the beginning. But now more and more people understand what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. in China. I was ordering my dad food through the app in, when I was staying here in Chicago, which is crazy too. And uh, Yeah, we're buying food for family in China from here. 
Yeah, because... How are the deliveries going? That was a question people were saying. Like, are people still... Because in China, normally you get food delivered, you get stuff still delivered. Have, still have de delivery guys working in the city, which is... We have to give them regard. Uh, no, not Kudos. respect. Kudos. Yeah. Yes, yeah. respect. And anyone um, still sorry to public, they, they are heroes to Yeah, me. yeah. And... Uh, Jayu. So, um, when, when we were leaving Ningbo, you had a problem. You were worried. You, you, you felt bad leaving China well, to come to the Well, I still feel bad to leave. Do you, yeah. do you, are you feeling like a, after you see the news and see those things, are you a little bit more at peace with the decision to come to the United States now that we're so far away from what might be going on? Or do you feel more guilt for being away? I don't feel guilt. I just feel like I have, I have a faith, right? A faith? Faith? Pride? Pride. I, I believe our government will handle this as soon as possible. But I also want Eva to be healthy, mm -hmm. can have freedom, but basically we don't have freedom yet. And uh, the people who leave the comment said we didn't tell Airbnb, which is wrong. I contact. I found the apartment and uh, I leave a message to the landlord. Mm -hmm. I told her that we I are am Annie from China. from China, Ningbo. Uh, we are coming here and we decide to not go to Detroit to see our family because as a mother, I don't want my sister, your sister. Yeah, we were thinking maybe go to Detroit Mom. and stay in Detroit, but then our family would want to. Because I will feel would the same way. Would want to come and and take care of us, and that same. would be dangerous. If I don't go. I feel bad. If I go, I'm worried. So, so stay in Chicago. Nobody can come and see us. Yes. There's no. That, there's no. It's not means I don't no, want I'll come to go around there. To see you this you know? afternoon. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. really won't be there. Let Eva play with Victoria and Savannah. But that would be. But yeah. if we are there, it's hard, very hard for us to not go, and for very hard for them to come. If they are not coming, they feel bad. If they're coming, they feel worried. So mm. we. So I tell, I t even tell the landlord about this. I said that we need a place to stay, and I wish she will accept us to stay here. Yep. And she replied immediately, or he, I don't know. Um, she said, "Welcome." And to rent the car, Annie used her ID yes. to rent the car, which is not, a Chinese not him. license. I it was not my, my license. I my license, my passport, yeah. and they know. Yeah. I am Chinese. From no cheating. Where? <laughs> no cheating. So. Please, I read all the comments. <laughs> I told Matt, some of them I really want to yell at them. <laughs> but I know the rule in the YouTube channel. If you get more mad at those people who are crazy, then they're Just happy. get more crazy. I think that last video, I'm okay. I'm not going to complain about commenters anymore. Yeah, but that most last of video them are very, very... Most of them are very nice. Very nice, yes. very nice. Thank you guys for the support. It's been yeah. very nice. I feel bad to leave because... First of all, I want to stay with my family. Mm. And uh, as my brother said, I want to want to be one of this kind of person. Yeah. Because I love my Well, family. if you didn't have Eva... I would stay. Yeah. There wouldn't even been a question, right? Yeah, I would stay. You know, when I was in Kuala Lumpur, it wasn't really... It was just getting started, right? I feel uh, just before Chinese New Year, everybody was still talking about, the new, you know, Go with family for lunch, for mm -hmm, dinner. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? I will start to worry. I'm. I get online to buy the masks, and I. My sister even say. Annie was one of the first to get masks. You are crazy. It won't be that bad. But I. I feel it. I said uh, it's gonna be worse. We still have a lot of place to buy food stuff. Just try to. In Ningbo. Yes. Try to control you. It's not like a. a End of the two, world. 2003, when SARS come, I was 21 years old. <laughs> a lot of people have no lower knowledge. They start to buy a lot of rice, oil, vinegar, whatever they can buy. It. So made a supermarket empty. But, mm. but this time is different. Maybe they learn from that a little bit. And also the people who are buying that stuff now they are old. Mm -hmm. They are they they are the same group of people who don't want to wear the mask. Mm -hmm. After seventeen years, mm. I think. Maybe another video, I, was, I would like to actually talk about what you think the future of China is going to be after this. Like, do you think that they're going to improve some things? Do you think they're going to 
food safety or maybe the the way they they already have do the rules you cannot eat no wild animal trading in all of china oh, no no loud well right now but you think after they'll reinstate it's, that it's over well, it's over yeah they said it's from a bat. bat but not only chinese people eat bat i'm not defending for us defending defend you know and palau palau yeah they're famous to eat the bat yeah, yeah yeah china isn't the only country with wet markets and isn't the only country with exotic animals china is in conflict the old and the new is still pretty close america is only a few hundred years old you know china is like thousands of years old so there's this really this old and new and things are moving fast and it's you know yeah, but it's hurting china a lot i feel very sad every day when i see the news i couldn't i hope it can stop as soon as possible i don't want to of course i don't want to think about uh, more like yeah. if you think more it's really terrible yeah terrible and i think there's some people will say ah oh, now this 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 is a chance to let china down mm. but i tell you what if china down everybody's affect, down yeah it will affect a lot of everything uh, other countries i was thinking that this morning last night okay so um your family owns a picture frame factory what's what's the deal with them are they closed indefinitely is there a time to open and they'll have to think about moving it farther what's the deal what is the deal with factories in china right now i don't know other city but uh, i can only say ningbo ningbo the government said we can the first time they said uh, we can open after ninth but now it's impossible. Yes. So we are not able to open until, you can open on 9th or 10th, I think, but you have to submit all the documents to the government to let them say, okay, you are allowed. And uh, the, the owner of the factory have to sign the name, take the responsibility for whatever happened. Mm -hmm. So nobody wants to try to have Nobody this wants risk. to take the responsibility. It's yeah. better. Like my dad, we are building our new factory. Yeah, there's a whole almost, new, there's all huge renovation, almost, rebuild. Almost, almost finished, but uh, we are not going to start until this, this disease disappears. Uh, masks. Is it still able to get masks in, uh, in China? Uh, yep, but I think it's still short of the masks. Uh, now government, uh, local government start to uh, let you sign up on the app, then you can have I don't know, masks, but I'm not there, I don't know. I looked on Amazon today, all the masks were either out, unavailable, or like $100 a mask or $50 a mask. It was crazy, crazy. And the comments on them were like, how dare you? <laughs> like, if, you know, you look at the re product reviews, product reviews are like, how dare you? I think if you stay at home, you don't need a mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I one see. person every two days got to go out and get groceries and stuff. He's going to have to. Yeah, but not everybody go, go out will save a lot. The best way is not buy the mask. The best way is stay at stay home. Stay in home. I think so. Wash yeah. your hand every time. If put, My sister or Matt will think I'm crazy because uh, I use my clothes and the pants and the shoes and I hang out to a special place. Out, outside the front door. Clean them yeah. and they think I'm crazy about this, but uh, I suggest everybody to do that. Hold on. Little, little battery change intermission. You, you said that about one person going out, right? But that was the rule, like one person going out every two days for every family. Mm -hmm. But that was, that's kind of a new rule. Like that was an old rule. That was a few days ago. Two days ago. Two days. But yesterday you got this three page thing. Can you go through that and like just point out some things? It was, what is, first of all, who is that from? That's from the Ningbo government? Yeah, Ningbo government. There's a 12 yilu. Yilu means, what's the meaning of yilu? You have to, like, a, uh, the first, every single person arrived to Ningbo have to be a report to the village or company office office immediately mm. the first time immediately just every village or complex have to be number one this is number two. Oh, number two number two every country or village have to be used 封闭式管理 means 
you cannot go out controlled. Yeah. And you have to use your ID to go or in and have the temperature, check the temperature all the time. With a gun that goes yes. off the skin, it doesn't touch you. Out, outside people in the car cannot go inside. Third, every single person have to wear mask to go to the public place. Every family can have one family member go out to buy stuff. Like every two days, one mm. person can go out for each family. Mm. And uh, another family member, except uh, who is sick or have to go to work. Because the government, some government uh, department already start to work because they have to help to... Help the situation. Situation. Rest of them cannot go out. Fourth, all the citizens cannot go visit, cannot be together. And go to the wet market, supermarket, you have to wear the mask, check the temperature. All the public areas are closed. So there's still wet markets open in Ningbo? Yes. But you have to wear a mask and uh, check the temperature. Mm. And all the delivery, express delivery or food delivery have to do no touching delivery. Like in each complex have mm. a special place for them, our place would be the south gate. Mm. So they were leaving the south gate and you go pick up. Then you don't go out of this place and you will have the food delivery. China is basically, most, most of these big cities are complexes. There's a, there's a, a border with entry points and then all of the apartment complexes yeah, the are inside. The day when we left Ningbo, they closed our uh, south gate. Only car can Only go. one, so they can control one yeah, entrance. Yeah, but now it's like you cannot. Mm. Only one gate. For fifth, uh, whoever possibly is sick cannot go out. There's no might go out. There's definitely cannot go so out. So if you got a cough or anything, or you're saying you're... Like the, I, if you have I the can, virus, then you're going to the hospital, right? Yeah. 医学观察 means, means uh, you have a little fever or Okay, whatever. so if you are feeling fluish at all, yeah, you better not go anywhere, which go makes out. sense. All the public and the company's uh, center heat or air conditioner have to be stopped. Oh, so say that again. No. No air, air, air conditioning, no heat, no cold for any big building yes. with multiple people. Yes. Your family room you can have. Yes. Like but, some building when heat on, the, the whole building is on. Mm. Because... Uh, so if you went to like um, a government office, the whole thing would be... Cold. Yeah. Cold, cold. Everybody would be Except wearing... Except if they have a separate... Hook, you're for each room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like shopping mall, definitely cannot. Seventh, all, all the public place, except the necessary uh, stuff, the shops. Yeah. All others have to be shut down. Like Starbucks, uh, KFC is probably closed, right, you think? I don't. I think most non-essential places like a, are totally closed. Like a, a haircut place yeah, yeah. shut down, like a spa shut down. All those not necessary. Yeah, yeah. Necessary. Yeah. Non-essential. The food market is necessary. Supermarket is necessary. Uh, medicine, pharmacy. No, pharmacy is necessary. Eight. No wedding. No weddings. Because yeah. weddings are normally really social, so they want to make sure not. Big groups of people are not gathering together, right? Um, yeah, if, yeah. If you have, we call the red, uh, red case and the white case. Red cases, uh, wedding. White cases when have people die. Mm, so that's a big sort of celebration. People die. Too. You have to make it as simple as you can, and you have to report to your place, your village, or your town. Nice. Anybody uh, appear fever or coughing have to report at the first time uh, immediately have to go to a special hospital like a fever department to uh, see the doctor cannot hiding or not report or later report what would happen if you did what would happen if somebody can't you know yeah, who know. knows uh, any pharmacy who sold out 
uh, fever or coughing medicine have to sign the real name and the first time you have to report to your local uh, department immediately so if you if you go and <coughs> you go to the pharmacy if you buy cough syrup the pharmacist has to make sure that your name and everything to buy my, it. My, my name and my ID mm. and the tenth any people who rent the house have to tell the rent landlord the, the landlord they have to tell the people who rent if they're from Wuhan or oh. this kind of place tell them to not come back okay all the company before February 9th cannot open except after the planning document uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. approval approval 12 every single citizen have to follow the rules from the city province and country cannot make fake news cannot uh, hiding uh, the truth thing. yeah so. truth if anybody against it will have very yeah, we will have a role we're gonna have a problem yes so that's it okay so how many people receive those instructions how many everybody in Ningbo pretty much with a phone yeah so like 8 million people now have these rules to follow yeah maybe oh, everybody in Zhejiang province got I have a friend no, that told me that Shanghai has something similar no 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 because uh, central government give to every single province or city and then they give to every city and the city have to give the new rule for themselves mm. Be otherwise how can they control all of us but I'm very proud of Chinese people who stay indoor, lock themselves during the Chinese There's New Year. There's a lot of people. I Chinese New think, Year. Yeah, we, I, it's better to happen in China, but um, I feel sorry about this. But, uh, but I was also seeing uh, my, most of Chinese people doing this. Sacrificing their the, Christmas, Chinese New Year for... The betterment of the community. Yes. Most people. Yeah, most people. Yeah. And when we say most people, we're talking millions and millions, like multiple, multiple, multiple New York cities. You know, like a huge, huge it's, amount of people. It's, it's hard it's to harder, imagine. It's harder to control. Think about every single country, they have a, a 年假, like a year holiday. But in China, we have this type of holiday all together in Chinese New Year. Yeah. So, Chinese New Year is like a biggest uh, how to say, like South Africa, all the animals from this side to the other side. Oh, migration, yeah, the biggest yeah. migration yeah, in the so, world. Yeah, then this year is quiet. Yeah. But I'm also not saying all of us are good, like uh, still have some people um, taking chances. Yes, taking chances. That's one reason I want to stay for 14 days because I hate people moving around. <laughs> <laughs> but I moved and I want to be the one to um, yeah. follow the rule. Eva's doing okay, right? She's having a good time pretty much. Mm -hmm. So buying a lot of stuff on Amazon delivery. We got, a, we got one coming today and a couple are coming tomorrow and uh, yeah, I'm going to open my um, Chinese restaurant soon, I guess. <laughs> Nothing I can do here. Well, you know, you might get a little uh, grief. People might not like Chinese people anymore in, in America. Why? Because I'm a you, badass? Because you uh, brought in the virus. I, there's There's stories of people getting... Uh, prejudice, you know, people... Oh, I would defend you know. myself. Yeah, yeah. you don't, don't want to mess shit. with Annie. I don't give a shit. <laughs> All right, guys, I thought that was interesting because, you know, we got that message last night um, and uh, like th that's a big, it's a big rule. I like this toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? That's, t check this out. This is, this is silly putty. I think this but is it's, like a stress release. But it's here. Let me zoom in on it. Let me zoom in on it. It's, it's like metallic. Do you want to know? I bought like four more of these in different colors. Not yet. They're in my shopping cart. You're crazy. Man. They're blue and then there's silver and there's gold. <laughs> this is what we're doing with our time. It's nice.
So, okay, uh, thank you again for watching, and I thought that was interesting to give you a little insight of what's going on in Ningbo, getting you, give you a little insight of what's going on here. We'll do more, I think, maybe some more, because there's not much else to do here uh, other than sit, sit around. If there's anything that you'd like to hear or, or just see discussed, let us know. Maybe we can get into a little bit of that. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Jiayou. Thank you, Jiayou. Jiayou China. And don't hate Chinese people. Hate the virus. Kill the virus, not even hate, kill them, kill them all.